Hey, y'all. I just want to come in and let you guys know that I'm doing a lot better. Um, I don't know what happened. Like, I just um, started feeling bad when we got back from the movies Friday night. Yeah, and it just went downhill quick. So, Friday night I had a fever. The fever was like 101, I think. And then when I got up Saturday morning... It was 103. So I called the advice nurse. And I mean, I was just out of it. I was having a hard time just, you know, moving. I was dizzy. And I know all of that was definitely from the fever. Um, I had a rough night. Like I was tossing and turning all night and having really bad dreams and stuff. And I know that was from the fever too. So they said, yeah, you know, why don't you come in and, and let us look at you and stuff. So when I got there, the fever was high. They took me to the back immediately and they gave me a shot of Tylenol because I was telling them that, you know, I was really nauseated. And so they said, okay, well, we're not going to, and my throat was hurting really bad. So they were like, okay, we're not going to try to get you to swallow these pills. We're just going to give it to you in a shot. So they gave me a shot of Tylenol. They gave me some Zofran for the nausea. I mean, I was so nauseated that I used to get car sick. And I was just praying that I didn't um, get car sick. It was so bad. So, the Zofran helped immediately. Uh, the Tylenol kicked in and my uh, body aches and stuff, it, you know, felt a lot better. So, of course, they tested me for you know what. And it came back negative. No flu, uh, nothing. What is that other virus? VS something that... The, the babies are having, so I didn't test positive for that either. So the doctor said it was it's probably just you know a little simple virus, and as long as I don't you know have a fever or throwing up or anything, I should be okay. So today I do feel um, I feel better. My stomach is still not where I want it to be. It's still. You know, not good. My appetite is still not good. But I want to tell you guys, I had the big C in January, I think. It was either, I think it started in December and it bled over into uh, January. And ever since then, my appetite has not been normal. Like food just don't taste the same. I'm just not really excited about food the way I used to be. And so, you know, when I get sick, I'm thinking, okay, is it going to go back to me not wanting to eat anything? And, you know, but the crazy thing is, like, I'm not excited about food. I'm not eating as much as I used to, but I ain't lose no weight. Not any noticeable weight, you know, because I don't consider five or six pounds noticeable. So, I don't know. But y'all be careful because whatever this virus is, I have three friends on Facebook who have it. And um, one young lady, I know her baby has been sick for six days. And I guess she called the advice nurse and they were like, okay, well, yeah, this virus is going around. You know, it's nothing we can do here that you can't do at home. But her child is having chills and um, fever and has had a fever for over a week. And I was like, girl, I think it's time for you to take that baby to the hospital. I'm not going to sit around. I don't play with no fever. If I can't get the fever down with with Tylenol, I'm going to the hospital. That's their job. 
That's what they're supposed to do. That's what we pay our insurance premiums for. If you can't take care of it at home, you go to the place where people get paid to take care of it. I'm going to go. That's shit. We pay $300-something a month for insurance. So, I'm going to use it. I'm just really grateful that as soon as I got there and they triaged me, they took me right to the back. So, I didn't have to wait. Um, you know, they took me back there and they they took good care of me. The only thing I hate is the discharge. The way they discharge your um, medicine is irritating. Like, you already don't feel good, and then you got to go to the discharge pharmacy, and there's other people in there, and it was just too much for me to deal with. So I didn't even get the Zofran. I'm going to go pick it up um, tomorrow from my regular um, pharmacy. I'm going to just have to have them transfer it out here. But I have my paperwork, so they'll know what it is, and they'll be able to fix it out here because that discharge pharmacy was a mess, and I couldn't deal with that. And it then ain't no place for you to sit. It was on, like, two chairs in there, and everybody had the chairs, and I'm not doing it. You know, and I was already tired and weak and stuff, so... um. I left, but I'm just relaxing, you know, trying to drink water. I'm drinking some tea right now because my throat is still just a little teensy weensy bit sore still, but my stomach is just not, it's not like upset. It's just, it's not upset. It's just set. You know, it, it just ain't right. So, I'm drinking some tea to try to um, help that. My favorite tea right now is lavender and chamomile. Let me show this tea to y'all because it is so good. <laughs> Child, you know I don't feel good. Look at my hair. I went to the hospital yesterday. Y'all should have seen me. I looked a hot mess. I had my um my afro, but it wasn't even calm. This the tea. This tea is so good. If you want to try something different, so that's what I'm drinking. So, okay, I will see y'all. Y'all see my little puff? I will talk to y'all later. Maybe tomorrow I'll up, keep you updated, but I am feeling better. And thank you guys that um, were concerned about me. I really, I really do appreciate that. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye.